Hello everyone and welcome to this new lecture. We will learn how to prepare an Excel sheet in order to design an MBBR wastewater treatment plant. You can directly download this Excel file at a very low price and it will contain an extra section about the aeration calculations. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. In this video, we will learn how to prepare an Excel spreadsheet in order to design the BOD removal tank as well as the nitrification tank in an MBBR wastewater treatment plant. You will be able to generate how much media uh, do we need in each stage as well as the dimensions of each tank. I have already posted some videos about the MBBR wastewater treatment plants, how they work, and how to design such systems. It is advisable to check them uh, before watching this video so you will be able to understand some concepts. You can find the links in the description box. Let's start by the design process. First of all, we have to input some parameters. So we have to fill the following. We will start by some general info. Of course, first of all, we have to insert the flow rate, which would be in meter cubes per day. To superscript the three here, just press Control one and Superscript. Second, we have to insert the influent BOD in milligrams per liter. And when we say influent BOD, so the BOD that is entering the BOD removal tank. So the BOD uh, incoming from this flow and pay attention that the primary clarifier removes around 30% of the initial or the inlet BOD. So always take into consideration this fact. Also, I need to insert the influent TKN, also the same concept, the TKN entering the BOD removal tank in milligrams per liter. I have also to insert the targeted uh, effluent BOD and the targeted effluent TKN both in milligrams per liter. So the targeted effluent BOD and TKN are the values that we expect to reach at the end of the process, so uh, when the nitrification ends. Now I will fill uh, these parameters with some numbers. So let's say we are treating uh, 80 cubic meters per day uh, of wastewater. The influent BOD would be 190. So the BOD entering the removal, the BOD removal tank, the influent TKN, I will choose it as 35. The targeted effluent BOD, let's say uh, I want to reach 20 milligrams per liter and 5 milligrams per liter for the TKN. Now I have to insert some uh, info regarding the BOD removal tank or the first stage. First of all, we have to insert the SALR value in the first stage. I have already prepared the table regarding the SALR values. Please, for more information regarding uh, the SALR, check the videos that I have already prepared regarding the uh, description and the design of the MBBR systems. So the SALR uh, value, it is in grams per meter square per day. The value here is uh, 6. So I will insert 
or insert six directly the carrier fill percentage or the percentage of the media that we need to fill in this uh, BOD removal tank. It is usually between 30 to 70 percent. If you choose lower values, this will help to extend the wastewater treatment plant later on because lower values will increase the volume uh, of the uh, reactor. I will choose 45%. Next, the liquid depth. I will choose it as 2.5 meters. The carrier surface area. You get this value from the manufacturer of the media uh, or the biofilm carriers. I will choose it as 550 meter square per meter cube. And finally, the tank length to width ratio. I will choose it as 1.5. So this is regarding the BOD removal tank. This is what we need to insert as uh, values. Next, we need to fill the parameters related to the second stage. It is the same. So, so but instead of first, it would be second stage. Also, we have the same units the SALR referring to this uh, table it would be one the carrier fail percentage I will choose it as 55 percent the liquid depth I will choose it the same as the first stage for um, uh, construction easiness the carrier surface area also I will choose it as 550 and the tank length to its ratio also I will choose it the same as uh, before now we can start by designing our reactor so design we will start by the first we will start by the first stage and beginning with the POD loading rate. I want the answer in grams per day. This is simply equals to the flow rate times how much BOD we will be uh, removing, which is equal to 190 minus 20. So the influent BOD minus the targeted influent one. So we got this value. So you might ask how we got the grams per day. So I will try to explain. We are multiplying cubic meters per day, which is the flow times milligrams per liter, which is the unit of the BOD. So to go from meter cube two liters we have to multiply by 10 to the power 3 so we get here liters no more meter cube and we can cancel out the liters and to go from milligrams to grams we have to multiply times 10 to the power minus 3 grams 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power minus 3 they will cancel out and the value will be in grams per Let's continue so we can now get the media surface area. This would be equal to the BOD loading rate divided by the SALR. We will get this value in meter squared. Now we can find the media volume. Which will be equal to the media surface area divided by the carrier surface area. This value 
in meter cube. So I know now how much I must uh, fill this BOD reactor with the biofilm uh, carrier. Now we can get the tank volume, which is equal to the media volume divided by the carrier fill percentage, also in cubic meters. I can get the width of the tank, which is equal to the volume divided by the depth so we can get uh, the area divided by the length per width ratio and then we have to square root this whole value to get the width this is basic math We got the value in meters, so it is around 1.6 meters. Now for you to be able to understand what I did in the previous equation, how I found the equation of W, so we already found V and we have the depth. So if I do V over D, I will get the area. This is the cross section area and we know that the area is equal to the length times the width and also we have said previously that L over W is 1.5 so practically L is equal to 1.5 W. I will replace in this formula, so I will get 1.5 W squared. And we know the formula of the area. I will replace, so V over D is equal to 1.5 W squared. So this is uh, actually basic math. So W would be equal to square root of V over 1.5 T or this whole fraction to the power 0 0.5 it's the same now we can get easily the length which is equal to 1.6 times the tank length to its ratio also, the value is in meters. So we designed the uh, first tank, the BOD removal tank. We can now design the uh, nitrification tank. It is the same procedure. So I will copy. The parameters and the units. Instead of first stage, I will write second stage and instead of a BOD loading grade, it is NH3N loading grade. So here also we have to do the same. I, we have to uh, multiply the flow rate times how much TKN we want to remove also regarding the media surface area it is equal to the loading rate divided by the SALR the media volume which is the media surface area divided by the carrier surface area
now we can get the tanks volume which is the media volume over the fill fraction the width which is the tank volume divided by the water depth divided by the length to width ratio and the whole thing to the power 0 0.5 we got the width and the length we can get it easily from the tank length to width ratio So this is how we designed the BOD removal tank and the uh, nitrification tank. You can also adjust the shape and uh, rearrange a little bit to have a, a better looking sheet. This is how my sheet uh, looks like. I added also uh, a section about the aeration and also the air requirements for each uh, stage in the design section. You can find these in the uh, downloadable version uh, plus also the uh, references and please do not forget to like and subscribe.